We are in the middle of a wicked hurricane season. Many Americans are suffering, many even losing their lives. And who's tasked with helping those struggling Americans? FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. But it seems as though FEMA has created a second disaster of sorts. And it might just be because they're apparently focusing their efforts on black people, people of color, LGBTQIA plus people, marginalized identities, and here's the kicker, illegal immigrants. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe. Also pinned in the comments down below is gonna be a couple of charities that you can donate to if you'd like to, to help the people who are in need right now due to this current hurricane season that only seems to be getting worse. Because as it turns out, it seems federal agencies aren't too good at doing their jobs. Shocker. Which brings us to today's topic of discussion, which is FEMA and their disastrous response to Hurricane Helene hitting the Southeast US. We did a whole nother video explaining the situation in great detail about what's going on with FEMA on the ground in these disaster response points. Things like people not getting help from the federal employees that are on the ground, reports of federal employees stopping non-employed American citizens from helping others that are experiencing the disaster, people being denied the $750 that was put forward by this administration, and most importantly, FEMA reporting that they don't have the funds to help in the case of another hurricane, which is apparently coming very soon and hitting the ground at a Cat 5. So I've decided to give a little look into FEMA and the things that they've been focusing their effort on in the time leading up to this disaster response. And if you're feeling like they don't have their priorities straight, you'd be correct. And the main word that leads me to this conclusion is equity. Here's a video from a disaster preparedness meeting that they held. Sparked a few things um, it, in my mind, thinking about preparedness and how you said, you know, uh, LGBTQIA people and people who have been um, disadvantaged already are struggling. They already have their own things to deal with. So you add a disaster on top of that, um, it's it's just compounding on itself. Um, and I think that is maybe uh, the why of why we're having these discussions is because it, it isn't being talked about. It isn't being socialized. We're not paying attention to this community. Thank you so much. Uh, Maggie. Thank you. Yeah, I, there are a couple of things that are intersecting in my mind here. One of them is the culture of emergency management as an organization, as an industry in the United States specifically, not um, abroad. Um, this has, and my cat sometimes does this, she gets really loud suddenly, so you'll have to just allow for the little meowing in the background. Um, the, uh, you know, the shift that we're seeing right now is a shift in emergency management from utilitarian principles where everything is designed for the greatest good for the greatest amount of people to disaster equity. Uh, but we have to do more, right? And so this topic is intersecting, I think, with a number of other topics where we have to look at policies and understand to what extent they have disadvantaged uh, communities that had less assets, communities that had pre-existing vulnerabilities in accessing disaster-related uh, recovery supports. Oh, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep my cool here. Guys, just give me a second to regroup from what I just watched. First of all, I gotta point out the pronouns next to everybody's names. Tyler's hitting us with the he, they, which points to a promising future for FEMA. I am Kamala Harris. My pronouns are she and her. I am a woman sitting at the table wearing a blue suit. And of course, it's no surprise. We've seen plenty of that from this current administration. And then Maggie provides us with this enlightening information about the fact that they're shifting from a utility utilitarian response, which is providing the greatest amount of good for the greatest number of people, into focusing on marginalized identities, helping them more, and I guess the rest of them. And this, I have to say, is not a shocking revelation considering Kamala Harris said this recently about hurricane disaster relief. It is our um, lowest income communities and our communities of color that are most impacted by these extreme conditions and, and impacted by by issues that are not of their own making. And, and so women. we, absolutely. And so we have to address this in a way that is about giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. And if we want people to be in an equal place, sometimes we have to take into account those disparities. 
um, and, and do that work. Yes, I love the scattered claps and the interviewer adding, and women, so that Kamala could affirm that we are going to be helping women and people of color more when it comes to these disasters. When people are drowning in flash floods, dying in landslides, getting stuck in their cars, essentially being waterboarded, having their houses floating away in the waters of a hurricane, I don't think it matters the skin color of those people. I don't think it matters what sex they are. I think it matters that you're there to help them regardless of their identity. Identity group. And of course, if you take a little trip to the FEMA website, it is littered with the word equity. They explicitly say they are focusing their efforts on people of color, LGBTQIA+, and those who are members of marginalized identities. So that's great. And if you need further evidence, FEMA actually worked with the NAACP to sign a pledge about instilling equity in disaster relief. Excellent. And it's official. <laughs> Guys, make sure you get the shot of the white woman shaking the black man's hand, right? Because he's part of an underserved community. Make sure you get the shot. Okay, one more. Do I need to do it again? And we'd hope that FEMA isn't actually using these tactics on the ground. We'd hope that they're actually helping people regardless of their identity group, their sexuality, or their sex. But who knows when their website is littered with this garbage. And even if they aren't leading with equity on the ground when they're responding to these disasters, it has now been made very clear that they're allocating tons of funding and resources towards DEI programs and trainings and talking about equity. And all of those resources are wasted resources. And it seems as though FEMA is used to wasting funding. They've spent over a billion dollars in their shelters and support program to resettle illegal immigrants into the United States. This is something that the current administration is actually trying to deny. Uh, former President Trump is accusing the Biden administration of using FEMA funding to support undocumented migrants. How is the White House responding to that? I mean, it's just categorically false. It is not true. It is a false statement. Uh, and look, the fact of the matter is, I think Washington Post fact checker uh, did a piece and the headline recently, just moments ago, not too long ago, and the headline was, no, Biden did not take uh, FEMA relief uh, money to use uh, to use on migrants, but Trump did. It's just categorically full. No, Biden did not take uh, FEMA relief uh, money to use uh, to use on migrants. So FEMA regional administrators have been meeting with city officials on site to coordinate to coordinate available federal uh, support from FEMA and other uh, federal agencies. Funding is also available through FEMA's emergency food and shelter program to eligible local governments and non -for, non -for profit organizations upon request uh, to support humanitarian relief for migrants. And that's interesting. She says it's categorically false, even though we have these words from the Secretary of Homeland Security, Mayorkas, saying that they have been using funding in this way. Let's watch. FEMA is going to be playing a pivotal role in our shelter and services program that is poised to distribute $363 million to cities and communities in need of funding. Uh, we do not have the funds, FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. And we can actually look and see where this funding is being used. Savannah Hernandez actually went to Maine and interviewed migrants who are now being housed in fully furnished apartments paid for by the federal government. And funnily enough, this leads us back full circle to the term equity. Here's a quote from Secretary Mayorkas. It is all about achieving equity, which is really the core founding principle of our country, says Alejandro Mayorkas. Because if you think about it, if you think about trying to have an equitable outcome, which means that everybody lands in the same place, which is convoluted and ridiculous, American citizens already have the privilege of being American. Undocumented migrants don't, so we need to instill equity to bring them up to the same outcome, which means your federal government paying for their planes, phones, medical bills, and putting them up in fully furnished apartments. Because most Americans already have that, don't we? And a reminder, it's all with your tax dollars. And where we're seeing equity everywhere, we're also seeing Mayorkas everywhere. He's responsible for the border, he's responsible for FEMA, and he's also responsible for the Secret Service, but at least they haven't flopped recently due to diversity, equity, and inclusion. to say you're not crazy if you're watching these ideologies and agendas being injected into our federal government and federal agencies, and then subsequently watching those federal agencies 
fail. Correlation doesn't equal causation, but it seems like all of these threads are tying together quite nicely. And what these threads put together is a wicked web of bad ideas, corruption, and failure. And it's American citizens who suffer because of these actions. Never mind that you're also paying for it. If you're watching this video on the day it was posted, tomorrow a Cat 5 hurricane is supposed to hit my home state of Florida, where almost my entire family still resides. And if I'm taking Mayorkas at his word, FEMA is not going to have the funding to respond to the disaster that exists on the other end of that hurricane hitting. And if I'm really taking FEMA at their word and everything that they've dictated on their website, I I guess I'm supposed to worry about the white side of my family more because apparently they're approaching these situations with equity, focusing on marginalized identities. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But we all know how this goes. Disastrous ideas like focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion and using American funds to help non-American citizens often lead to disastrous outcomes. But guys, those are just my thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every day. And as always, if you disagree with anything said in this video, do get out in the comments down below, but do so respectfully. We encourage healthy debate on this channel. Bye guys. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.